In this video, we'll go for the general heat conduction equation in a Cartesian coordinates as well as cylindrical coordinates. So in Cartesian coordinate, general heat conduction equation is given by del square T by del X square plus del square T by del Y square plus del square T by del Z square. This represents the variation along X, Y, Z direction plus Q triple dash by K where Q triple dash is the rate of internal heat generation and K is the thermal conductivity of the solid is equal to 1 by alpha. Alpha is called as thermal diffusivity into dt by dt. So Q triple dash is the amount of heat generated per unit volume is usually expressed as watt per meter cube. Alpha is called as thermal diffusivity, unit is meter square per second is given by K by rho C. K is thermal conductivity, rho is the mass density and Cp is the specific heat. If dt by dt equal to 0, it is called as steady state heat transfer. If there is no internet generation, you can make Q triple dash equal to 0. If the heat transfer is one dimensional, then del square t by del y square and del square t by del z square individually equal to 0. So any of this term come, we can write down the general heat conduction equation given upon the definition of problem. So if you want to write down the general heat conduction equation for one dimensional steady state, one dimensional means del square t by del y square is 0, del square t by del z square is 0, steady state means dt by dt 0 with internal heat generation. It means that q triple dash is present and del square t by so governing equation is given by del square t by del x square plus q triple dash equals to 0 which I can write as del del x into del t by del x plus q triple dash divided by k equal to 0. Now to make the simple equations in the cylindrical coordinate and the spherical coordinate we will rearrange this equation as r to the power n del del r of r to the power n del t by del r. Using this equation we can generate the cylindrical Cartesian and spherical or just I will give the hint to this. So if you want to write down Cartesian system you make r equal to x and n equal to 0. That will solve the problem of slab. So replace r by x and n equals to 0. So in that case r to the power 0 will be equals to 1. That is will be value of only 1. So it is same equation that was written initially. And for cylindrical coordinates to solve the problem of cylinders put r is equals to r and n equals to 1. So we have 1 by r del del r r into del t by del r plus q triple dash by k is a governing equation. Whereas in case of spherical system put n equal to 2. So we get 1 upon r to the power 2 del del r r square del t by del r plus q triple dash by k. So this is how we can remember this equation very simple. All these heat transfer are radial in the case of cylinder and sphere but is axial in the case of slab. Now we will discuss the Cartesian coordinate system for three different cases of a slab. So let us say we have three slabs of equal width equal thickness equals to L. And we will apply three different conditions according to that we will draw the temperature distribution. Let us say the first case we have TW1 the temperature on the y axis. So we have two different temperatures in the first case we have two equal temperatures on the two walls and let us say TW1 is more in the third case as compared to TW2. But the third case indicating that one side is insulated whereas in the first two cases both sides are ready for heat transfer. Let us say this is the case of internal heat generation naturally the maximum temperature will occur in, inside the plate. If the heat source is not at center, then the maximum temperature will be offset from the center. So the maximum temperature will occur at certain distance from the center. So this is the equation of a parabola. This line represents the location of the maximum temperature and you can find out the location by using dt by dx equals to 0. This point represents the maximum temperature. Whenever we have maxima, we have dt by dx equals to 0. So use this condition to find out the maximum temperature. So this time we have given one equation in the form of x but one term must contain equal to minus x square. Whenever we have minus x square term present it means that it is a parabola curve and parabola is always downward. Suppose we have a heat transfer exactly to the center, the internal heat generation exactly to the center, then the maximum temperature will occur at center and your parabola is equally distributed. So this time T max will occur at x equals to L by 2. And suppose the left hand side of the plate number 3 is insulated, the heat is transferred only from TW1 to TW2. So we have imaginary parabola here, half part is missing and we can see only the half part that is this part. So TW1 in this case itself is equal to T max value. In this case at center we have T is equal to T max so dt by dx rho is 0. So anytime time you are given the equation you can find out the location and the maximum temperature in the plate. So we have this governing equation here del, del, del t by del x is there. So it is a variable of only one term. So we can write d square t by dx square plus q triple dash by k equal to 0. So you can integrate it one time by shifting the q triple dash k on the right hand side. So we get dt by dx equals to minus q triple dash by k into x. So we can integrate further. 
t equals to minus q triple dash x square by 2 k so we'll get uh, plus c1 x plus c2 now we can find out c1 c2 using two boundary condition that is normally given in the problem so remember here q triple dash by x q triple dash x square by 2k so 2 is here in terms of slab this number will become 4 in case of surrender and will become 6 in case of sphere now let's consider the case of solid surrender and there is a red internal regeneration so we have only one wall here so on periphery we have same temperature that equal to tw internal regeneration is there so maximum temperature will occur at exactly at center where r is equal to 0 so we are again a downward parabola and exactly at center r equal to 0 we have position of t max so this time we have to use cylindrical coordinate so you use n equal to 1 and use the same equation so we get 1 by r del del r into r times del t by del r and right hand side we will get minus q triple dash by k so first you cross multiply and then you integrate it so we get ddr of r into dt by dr equal to minus q triple dash into r by k now this time it is ready to integrate so if we integrate we will get r into dt by dr equal to minus q triple dash by 2k into r square plus constant of integration in case of solid surrender we can eliminate constant of integration by putting r equal to 0 so at r equal to 0 dt by dr equal to 0 because we have maximum temperature so at center r equal to 0 dt by dr equal to 0 so therefore c1 is also equal to 0 always true for solid cylinder now c1 is 0 so one of the r will get cancer and we will have dt by dr equal to minus q triple dash upon 2k into r now integrate again so we get t equals to minus q triple dash by 4k into r square plus c2 so this time you put r equal to capital r that is bond table condition tw and you can solve for t2 so this is how you can generate temperature distribution check the term of q triple dash by r square it's a 4k where in case of slab it's a 2k so number is just multiple of 2 4 6 so n equal to 1 n equal to 2 and n equal to 3 will work fine so if you put r equal to capital r we have to substitute t equal to tw and we can solve for c2 so we have tw plus q triple dash into capital r square 4k plus equal to t equal to c2 so we can put this value c2 back into the original equation so c2 is replaced by tw plus q triple dash into r square by 4k so suppose you want to find out maximum temperature you put r equal to 0 so if this value is equal to 0 then this condition will represent the t max value that is c2 itself represents t max now consider the case of solid cylinder in case of solid cylinder this example is the sun then we have a maximum temperature always occur at center and we have uniform wall temperature so in this case you have to put n equal to 2 in the given governing equation so this become r square del del r of r square into del t by del r equal to minus q triple dash by k and now we will solve this equation so 1 by r square will be get multiplied on the right hand side will be r square so this is ready to integrate now so we get r square into dt by dr equal to minus q triple dash by k into r cube by 3 plus some constant of integration c1 now again at temperature will be maximum at center so with dt by dr equal to 0 so at r equal to 0 t is equal to t max dt by dr equal to 0 so in that case c1 will equal to 0 so c1 is 0 for solid sphere again so this c1 is 0 so one of the r square will get cancelled and we left with only one r now again integrate we will get t is equal to minus q triple dash by k this is r square by 6k so number is 2 for slab 4 for cylinder and 6 for sphere plus r square plus new constant is c2 now we know the boundary condition that r equal to capital r t is equal to t wall so you can find out again the maximum temperature same procedure that is discussed for cylinder so using only one equation we have solved this problem